Hey, welcome back everybody to the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. The theme is bringing back the fun in 2021 and here comes the fun on two wheels. And, and four, four legs. Hooks. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Richmond Police Department dedicated to serving the city of Richmond and the safety of its residents. And just like every year, they're kicking off the parade right now. And uh, we've got the mounted units on their bikes and the mounted units on their horses. Uh, the mounted unit on the horses, they serve a, a lot of different functions. Uh, which include daily patrol to the city, crowd control, and did you know this, according to a 2014 study by Oxford University, a mounted officer is six times more likely to be approached by a citizen than an officer on foot, because everybody loves the horses, right? And as soon as the crowd heard the sirens this morning, they went <laughs> wild, because they knew that means the parade is underway. Yeah, you hear the sirens going off. It was so funny, the people from uh, right behind our, our, our vantage point here, uh, they're from New Kent. I think they were the most excited. They heard those sirens, and they just started screaming. That was awesome. <laughs> beautiful horses the mounted unit by the way they encourage you anytime you see them out and about to come up and speak with them and uh, engage with them and their horses and they'll tell you all about uh, what they do and how they serve the city of richmond a wonderful opportunity to see the horses and look at their hooves are painted red and green for the holidays <laughs> all <That's> sparkly <laughs> So we're right here at the Science Museum of Virginia, and you can see there is uh, a quite a crowd here. It's nice to have the parade back in person. Absolutely. And you know, the parade is magical, and so are princesses. And uh, leading us in the pace car today are the Magic and Merriment Princesses. That's right. They were founded in 2018 by a former character performer. She just wanted to bring magic here to Richmond. And you know what's really fun? Cheryl, I got to see a sneak peek of this. We get a special performance from them later in the show, the Magic and the Merriment Princesses. And, of course, one of the good things about coming to a parade is to be able to see these characters up close and personal. There's Tiana, and we've also got uh, Elsa is here today, along with Anna, and Belle is there. They're so beautiful. I want one of those outfits. <laughs> I want to be a princess. You are a princess, Cheryl. Oh, well, You're the Christmas you. parade princess. I've been called worse. <laughs> <laughs> of course, this is the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. We're so happy. This this is Richmond's biggest single day event. Did you know that there are going to be anywhere between 200, 300,000 people lining Broad Street from the Science Museum of Virginia all the way down to 7th Street just to see this parade? Uh, it takes about 250 volunteers to run it, and we're just so happy that they're here. And, of course, Dominion Energy is our title sponsor of the 38th Annual Christmas Parade here in Richmond. Bring back the fun in 2021. It takes about 250 volunteers to run the parade on parade day, and they have people working actually year-round to make sure that this is working the way it's supposed to. Their longest-running volunteer, Robert Kelly, he's been working the parade 38 years. He even served as parade director as a volunteer for several decades. He was responsible for bringing the parade back when it needed a new sponsor sponsor and arrange for Dominion Energy to step in and we appreciate them doing that. Especially around this time of year because the winter is just beginning and uh, they're always out there helping us during snowstorms when we're out of power while we're uh, trying to stay warm in our homes. They're out there busy working getting all the lines back up for us. So thank you to all the hardworking Dominion Energy workers and their families yeah, out there. Yeah, that's the truck I want to see in my neighborhood when <laughs> something goes wrong. They're all decorated for the holidays as well. They say their mission is dedicated to creating a family-friendly experience that brings holiday cheer to children and adults and local businesses. And they want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas and Happy Holiday. Hey, Cheryl, there is our Grand Marshal. Snoopy! On the King's Dominion float. Snoopy and classic Christmas characters joining us courtesy of King's Dominion in celebration of their holiday event, Winterfest. They've got a beautiful float there. They've got the Eiffel Tower. Snoopy's Doghouse. And, of course, the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. 
It's not Christmas without Charlie Brown and the gang, actually. <laughs> Winterfest at King's Dominion is underway. They've got millions of lights and hundreds of Christmas trees there. It's already known as one of the area's most sought-after immersive holiday celebrations. You can get into the spirit of the holidays with Christmas trees and ice skating on the park's fountain. And this year, they're going to have a larger-than-life Winterfest Wonderland Parade nightly, brimming with dazzling displays, exciting performances, and extravagantly decorated holiday floats. This is one of the nine professionally built floats for the parade this year. Uh, and uh, I could tell there was a lot of love and care that went into that one. I love that right above Snoopy. And they're dancing their way down the, the parade route today. I love right above Snoopy. There was a little Woodstock, too. Oh, That's yeah. great. They're best friends. They have to be together. That's one of the nice things I like about King's Dominion is the performances and the shows. And, and we've got some of the performers here with us today. And they're going to really thrill the crowd as they make their way down the two-and-a-half-mile route here on Broad Street from the Science Museum of Virginia all the way to 7th Street downtown. That Winterfest is really something to see at King's Dominion, too. Thank you so much, guys. And thank you, Snoopy. Hey, do you know who that is, folks? That is Odyssey Alexander, our honorary Grand Marshal. She's a professional and former collegiate All-American softball two-way pitcher for the USSSA Pride. She was the starting pitcher for JMU from 27 to 2021, and you might remember she led the team to their first-ever Women's College World Series in 2021, making it to the semifinals. Also along is JMU head coach for the softball team, Lauren Laporte, who uh, is in her... Tenth year with the softball team at James Madison University. In her fourth year as head coach, she led the Dukes to a record 41 and 4 and 17 and 1 in the Colonial Athletic Association. They became the first ever Women's College World Series appearance, making history as an unseeded team. And let's check in right now with Reba and Kristen. Good Rob, we have such a great seat out here watching everyone. Just the crowd is just infectious right now and it just is. enjoying this a great vibe. And we just saw sparkles go by and those girls are absolutely beautiful and amazing. Reba, I have to get a pair of those neon pom-poms. Oh, yeah. Did you see those? Yeah, and they're getting us in the holiday spirit as the dancers from the Sparkles and Cheer dance team from Ashland. These 56 dancers ages 3 to 18 are excited too. That's right. This is their first time performing in the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade. They've been practicing since August for this very moment. Now, the young dancers are led by sisters Ashley Hockaday and Talia Crenshaw. And Ashley says these young dancers do hip-hop, jazz, modern dance. She says they pretty much dance to anything. And this group is a cheer and dance competition team. They started in 2017 with just 17 members, and now they have over 50. Sparkles Cheer and Dance is all about building strong, teachable athletes through creative dance, cheer, stunts, and tumbling. And they're always looking to add new family <laughs> members. Reba, there might be a spot I for know. us. I Maybe. really want one of those little neon pop -ups. Is that what you were talking about? Yes, we love that. Those girls are amazing. Uh -huh. Well, the Richmond Ambulance Authority right here, last year's Grand Marshal April O'Quinn worked for RAA when American Girl Doll honored her first responders and modeled a doll after the EMT April O'Quinn. RAA is one of the busiest and advanced EMS systems <laughs> per capita in the country. That is nearly 200 calls per day and 150 patients per day. Look at that, Krista. The RAA mascot walking with the ambulance is EMS superhero Para Bear. Look yeah. at this, Reba. Wow. And don't you love clowns at a parade, Kristen? Virginia, Virginia clown. clown. The alley number three, the oldest in the country, established in the late 60s. Clowns perform at places where there is a need for spreading joy and laughter. There's no exception for today, right? Uh -oh. Children's Hospital, also <laughs> senior homes and other living facilities. Yeah, some clowns have been walking in the parade for 20 years. I believe they love doing this. The clowns have been practicing short routines with puppets or other jokes that can be done while walking. And take a look at this, the Royal Ed Baton Corps. They're marching in the parade. Wow, for 36 years. This is the event the twirlers look forward to all year. Parade prep starts in September. They've been practicing yeah. for so long. And listen to this, the girls in red are state and national award winners. 
The girls in the green are wearing new Christmas parade costumes. 25 other twirlers are brand new to the core. The Royalette motto is reach for the stars. <laughs> the Royalettes are proud to have twirlers that have gone on to twirl at over 20 different universities. I love their outfits too. They I did you, you used to be a twirler. Were you a twirler, Kristen? I was not a twirler, and I was not a dancer. So, Reba, <laughs> so we like this, watching. Group, this group probably wouldn't want to have me, but they are amazing. And that's one of my favorite songs, Mariah Carey. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. Know that. Absolutely. They look beautiful. In all ages, you see here in the <gasps> range, look at that, the little twirlers. They I'm, are adorable. I'm and you have a little one. Right. She may grow up to be a little twirler. I may have a daughter that could join. <laughs> Look how much fun they're having, too. You know what? I believe I saw them before the parade started, and they were doing touch-ups to their makeup uh -huh. and putting their hair up. Oh. It was very cute because their hair and makeup looks fabulous. Oh. But I commend them just to walk down the Broad Street twirling, doing all that. I mean, I couldn't even do that standing still. So Look at them, just how they stay choreographed so like that. <laughs> so impressive. So much talent here, too. We love seeing this. Just look. And the crowd loves it too. If you can hear them right now from where we're sitting, this is great. Our younger twirlers, they're having so much fun. And coming up right now, the 2021 Henrico Christmas mother is Blanche Moore. She is a longtime resident of Henrico County. There she is right there, living there for the past 48 years. She's an alum of Virginia Union University. She has her parade wave and parade uh -huh. kisses down pat. In 2015, after she retired from Henrico Public Schools, she joined the Henrico Christmas Mother Council as a member helping in several positions. Henrico Christmas Mother has been helping Henrico families in need for 79 years. Oh, wow. And the goal is to help 1,700 families this year. Families approved for assistance receive new books, toys, clothing, and food. And Henrico students get involved, too, donating more than 96,000 food items. The Henrico Christmas Mother Council depends on volunteers to help provide for this program. You're so they do a lot in the community. They really do. Getting so much love from the crowd right now. Uh, oh, look at this, Kristen. This is the Henrico County sponsors. They are sponsoring the Jingle Santa Balloon. Yeah. A lot of love for Santa right now. <laughs> this Santa from Dynamic Displays enjoyed his 15 minutes of fame in the box office hit Jingle All the Way. That was starring Arnold Schwarzenegger and comedian Sinbad, if you remember that movie. Yeah, and look at this Santa. 25 feet tall, 15 feet wide, 45 pounds. Took four weeks to make, and it takes six tanks of 1,500 cubic feet of helium just to fill it up, Kristen. Mm -hmm. In 1634, Henrico became one of the Virginia Colony's eight original shires with boundaries stretching west to the Blue Ridge Mountains and an expansive territory that encompassed 13 modern-day localities. Wow. And today, Henrico County has a population of about 335,000 according to the 2020 census. We Everyone, love seeing Santa. Right, everyone's enjoying a little Santa <laughs> Claus, especially before the big guy comes out himself yeah, later. Yeah, right. Now, Henrico is home to 25,000 businesses, has more than 100 190,000 jobs. So you see them, and boy, can you hear them. That is the Henrico County All-County Marching Band. Today's performance features the combined bands of Henrico and Highland Springs High Schools. About 70 students make up this all-county band. They're led by band directors from Eric Cousins from Henrico and Don Bay Yonkers from Highland Springs. The students have been busy getting ready for the Dominion Christmas Parade, and they had a gospel performance. Uh, Let's listen in. Yeah. Peppers, 
We have BMX riders and more baton twirlers and some excited spectators. More of the Dominion Energy Christmas Parade when we return. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.